Hello, and welcome to the second video in the Oracle Exadata Cloud Service Workshop series. In Lab 2, I will be teaching you how to provision Exadata Cloud Service database infrastructure. After you've navigated to the OCI homepage, click the top left-hand hamburger menu and scroll down to the database section where you will find bare metal, VM, and Exadata. Click the blue Create DB System button. Specify the compartment that you created in Lab 1. Click on the Exadata shape type. For me, this is the only shape I have available to me in my environment, which is in the 82, I have the Exadata dot full one dot three three six. However, in your environment, you will most likely have other shapes available to you. To change the shape, click the Change Shape button. Here, specify the amount of CPU cores that you would like. Skipping past this, here's where you'll add in your SSH key. I'm going to find that by typing this command into my terminal because I'm a Mac OS user. Now that SSH key is copied to my clipboard so I can paste it in. Once you've done that, for this lab, we're doing the license included license type. Clicking on the EXA VCN that was created in lab one. Clicking on the client subnet. Database backup for my backup subnet. Give a host name prefix, this is required. When you're done, click the blue next button. Here, you'll be filling in a database name, a PDB name, give it a password, click on the transaction processing workload type. When you're done, click on the blue create DB system button. Once you have clicked on the blue create DB system button, you should be taken to a page showing a yellow provisioning status on your exit infrastructure until it is ready to use. Please give it some time to finish provisioning. You will know it is complete by it showing a green available status like mine. You can see this availability in this list of DB systems here in your compartment. You have now finished provisioning your Exata database infrastructure. This is the conclusion of Lab 2. Thank you for watching.